take a moment of silence to admire that golden edge on this piece of pork. That skin is so crispy, it can get stuck in your teeth. Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Bangkok, Thailand. I just arrived to this restaurant which is called Guai Chap, Mr. Joe. And they are famous for serving Guai Chap, which are noodle rolls in soup. And they're also very well known for their crispy pork belly. Mark, Captain Mark. the Guai Chap Pise, which is the special bowl, so it's a little bit bigger than the normal version, and it includes a mix of everything. When you eat Guai Chap, all you need is a spoon. You don't need chopsticks because everything is bite-sized. As soon as she put the bowls of Guai Chap down on our table, you could just immediately smell the black pepper, and I think some garlic in there as well. There are, here are the rice noodle rolls on the bottom, and then there are a mix of different organs, there are pieces of pork belly. I think these are lungs and liver and, oh, even a piece of tofu. The first thing you have to do, oh, is that, I think that's skin as well. The first thing you have to do though is taste some of the broth. And what you really wanna, what I really like to do is go down at the bottom because that's where the pepper and all the spices have settled. So go down at the bottom, get some of that broth. Actually, even stronger than the pepper flavor, what I can really taste is like a green oniony flavor. It has like a, or like a dry onion and garlic flavor in that broth. It has a really, really wonderful oniony flavor to it. It tastes like, almost tastes like a, like a French onion soup broth. So in comparison to other versions of the same dish that I've had across Bangkok, this, the broth is less peppery, but more oniony. I'm gonna go in now for some of this prick bone, which is chili flakes. And you can see that the, I think the, these are dried chilies, which have then been deep fried and then pounded into flakes because it has a, a little bit of an oily shimmer as opposed to the just straight dry chilies. Sprinkle this in. All right. And actually, because it's so porky and so oniony wonderful, I'm not gonna add any vinegar this time. Okay, I gotta have one of the, I gotta have that piece of pork belly and a noodle. Okay, it's all about that pork belly. The broth is very porky, a little bit peppery, nice and oniony, and then with that, that extra chili, that just, oh, that just brings it to the next level. Okay, what is my next bite going to be? An intestine and some of the, the noodle rolls. That intestine is so soft and tender that it, it actually had the same texture as that really soft noodle. What is that, eh? I think lung. Lung? Yeah. You can see kind of those, those valves in it. Add a bit more soup to this spoon. That is delicious. That is so soft and has a spongy texture to it as well and then just wrapped up in that broth. And then I also got a couple of different side dishes and I'm gonna grab a pair of chopsticks for, for this. Definitely one of the highlights in the bowl of Kwai Chap is the crispy pork belly, which in Thai is called mukrab. They give you a couple pieces within your bowl of Kwai Chap, but then that is definitely not enough because as soon as you take a bite of that crispy pork belly in your soup, you're gonna wanna, want an entire plate like this. So we got a side plate of mukrab. This is just unbelievable looking. That crispy pork skin is just bubbled up and just blistered with golden perfection. And you can see those layers of meat and fat. And actually, a lot of the fat has sort of been like reduced down or rendered down. So it looks 
it actually looks pretty meaty for for pork belly. And then this side, this side is just double crispy air edges. I'm gonna grab one right from the middle. Take a moment of silence to admire that golden edge on this piece of pork. I'm not even gonna dip it in the sauce. Oh, wow. We've got two layers of outrageously crispiness. Then just with that creamy, melt in your mouth, soft pork. Okay, for this bite, I'm gonna dip it into the sauce, which is like a, a dark sweet soy sauce. That skin is so crispy, it can get stuck in your teeth. And then that sauce is very sweet. It's almost like a, it almost tastes like dipping pork into honey. So that gives it a, a contrast to the salty pork. But I actually just like the pork plain. It's so good. You can just eat it like candy. And then we also got some panam jeep, which are little like shumai dumplings. And these are, I think these are shrimp, but maybe some minced pork in there too. And there should be like a little bit of a vinegar sauce. It's okay, but nothing in comparison to that crispy pork belly. That was an amazing bowl of kwai chap, and definitely very meat heavy, pork heavy. Some versions of kwai chap are stronger on the soup rock, and more that is what really makes it. But for this bowl, it was definitely, they really excel at the different pieces of pork. All of the organs were incredible but I have to give it up for that crispy pork belly. That is some of the crispiest, some of the best crispy pork belly that I've ever had in Bangkok. That was unbelievably good. Another thing that is worth mentioning real fast is I think in their chili flakes, they added a little bit of Sichuan pepper because when I was eating the soup, I got a little zing on my tongue and also that little citrusy component that comes from Sichuan pepper. So that was a beautiful addition to their chili flakes, which is not common in Thailand. Um, yeah, overall a fantastic bowl of white chop, but the crispy pork belly is the real winner at Mr. Joe's. There will be a full review, plus more photos and directions on how to get here over on eatingthaifood.com, so you can go check out the article for more information, but this has to be some of the best crispy pork belly in all of Bangkok. If you are ready to eat some incredible pork, this is a place you have to come. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I would love to hear from you, and I will see you on the next video.